Good morning, Clarks. Good, Good morning, Miss Stella. How is everyone feeling this morning? Should we do one of our quick little check-ins? Raise your hand if you're feeling a little bit sad today. No one? I'm so glad to hear that. Raise your hand if you're feeling a little bit so, so. Yeah, Shahan? Yeah, that's me, oh. Well, I hope we can get you back into this little smiley face and be happy today. Raise your hand if you're feeling happy. I'm feeling super happy, Miss. <sighs> oh, I'm yeah. so happy and I'm so glad to hear that. I am feeling very happy and I hope you're all going to enjoy today's lesson. So now let's recap on what we've learned so far. What did we start learning about in our English lesson? We started yesterday. Who remembers what we were talking about? Yes, Shahan. Was it persuasive text? Persuasive text. Joel, can you remember what we said was our definition? What are we saying persuasive texts are? Um, it shows a point of view about topics, about a topic. A point of view about topics. So, we created our checklist yesterday as a class. We said these were the things that we needed to include when we go to write our persuasive text. Topic. We spoke about so many topics yesterday. We did a massive brainstorm on the board. Raise your hand if you remember what topic we chose. Zoe, do you uh, remember? If we, we chose the uh, having outdoor lunch and indoor lunch. So outdoor lunch versus, versus indoor, indoor lunch. lunch. Thank you, Zoe. Yeah. Thank you for your listening yesterday. So we said next, once we've figured out what our topic is, we need an introduction. We can't write our introduction if we don't know what we're going to talk about in our arguments. So, we discussed what an introduction is, but now today, we're going to start focusing on... Who can read this out? Argue. Arguments. Yes. We're going to talk about arguments. That's going to be the body of our text, where we have our paragraphs and our arguments. Does anyone know what an argument is? No? Zoe, can you read? I don't know if you can see. Can you read the definition we've got up on the board here for argument? Uh, series of convincing reasons to, to support, support the other's viewpoint. The author's. Oh. Sorry, you might be able to see my writing. The author's viewpoint. So an argument is a series of convincing convincing reasons to support the author's viewpoint. We need to convince someone if we believe indoor lunch is better or if we believe outdoor lunch is better. So keep that in your mind. Now, we're going to do a big class discussion and brainstorm of some ideas and arguments where we can write for why we believe outdoor lunch is best and for why we believe indoor lunch is best. In a second, I want you to turn to your talk partners and you're going to come up with one argument for outdoor lunch, why you think outdoor lunch is best, and one argument for why you think indoor lunch is best. Go, talk to your talk partners. All right, I'm thinking... So um, I, oh. Oh, but I think it's really good because you get to see friends in other yeah. classes and... And years, and that, and that makes you really get to run around. I like indoor because you can sit there quietly. But uh, yeah, I mean indoor. Ice, is... ice, baby. Stop. Collaborate and, and listen. listen. That was done so well. Thank you so much. Okay, Joel, can you tell me one argument you and your partner thought of for why outdoor lunch is best? Uh, we like outdoor activities uh, to play and meet our friends. So we like outdoor activities so we can go meet our friends. Let's write that down. So when we play... So for example, when we play outside, we can see our friends? Yeah. When we play outside, we can see our but wouldn't our friends be in our class? Would these be friends who are in other classes or other years? Um, yes. What do you think? I think it's... Oh, hold on. Wait, let's talk. Can yeah, you and other friends like my brothers in year two. Yeah, so in other years. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Zoe, can you think of one we said for why you believe, you and your partner believe outdoor lunch is best? Um, so, um, children, we can be active and run around on the playground. So, we can be active and run around on the playground. Do you know what else I think would be really good about outdoor lunch? When you're running around outside, has anyone ever heard of vitamin D? No. Raise your hand if you've heard of vitamin D. I take my vitamins. Yeah, vitamin D you get from the sun and it helps you be healthy so you don't get sick. So if we're having outdoor lunch, we're going to be getting so much vitamin D. So we're constantly going to be healthy. And if we're healthy, is our learning going to be better in our classroom? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Does everyone yes. agree with that? Yes. yes. I think they're two really amazing arguments. Now, Shahan, can you tell me an argument you and your partner came up with for why you believe indoor lunch is best? Because mm, we can play with our iPads inside. Or oh, okay. use the computers. We or can play cool play math games. Board games. Cool math games. We cool can do... Games. So it's not only going to be fun, it's also going to be educational. We can play on... Um, cool math games on our iPads. Yeah. <laughs> we can play on our laptops. Oh, I'll just write and. And iPads. So what can we play? Cool math games. Mathletics. Games, mathletics. Oh, oh everyone likes maths. But we could do art. Or uh, reading Ooh, eggs. Oh, let's go to Zoe now. What did you just say? I like that. I idea. said, I what said, did you and your partner say? I said that you could do art, or or you could read more books, um, and you could catch up on schoolwork maybe. Or that you so not done. We math um, schoolwork. Yeah, I feel like this group really loves math. So don't you like English as well? I yes, love English yeah. much more than I like math. I think yeah, math seems I like both evenly. Okay, so we can do art. We said catch up on work. And what was the last thing you said? Was it read? We can read, we can read, read lots more books. Read more books. And what's going to happen to our English skills if we read more books? We're going to be like a hundred billion million times better. Get to level so up. Too. So read more books. Is everyone happy with these arguments that we've written? Can anyone think of anything else that we could write? Mm -mm. No? Um, I could. What is that enough for the story, Ritz? I don't know. I want you now to be thinking about some more arguments that you can write. We're going to go back to, an our, to our desks and with your partner at your table. So not your partners you're on the floor with, your partner at your desk. You are going to copy into your English books with the heading. Oh, actually, we can use this as our heading. Okay. Arguments. And everyone write the date at the top. You are going to write this in the middle. And we're going to create a brainstorm like what we have here. You will write down one, two, three, four arguments. Then with your partner next to you, you are going to try and come up with one more for each of these topics. Does everyone understand what they're doing? Yes. 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 So when I say go, I want you to quietly stand up. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Quietly stand up, walk back to your desk. The level of noise I want to hear from, say the ground is like, yeah, because you need to you need to be talking. The level I'm typing is perfect. You need to be talking to your partner. Okay? So copying these arguments on the board, writing one more of each that you and your partner come up with. On the count of three, 